Well, the rumors are true. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Nicole. Welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to be doing an overview review of the book Story by Robert McKee. I have another video that is going to be way more in depth, but this is the quick and dirty should I read this book? It is a book about screenwriting. His goal basically was to teach people how to write meaningful stories. <laughs> and I would say maybe even considering, um, he considered his goal improving the quality of stories that you see in cinema because apparently story is in decline. Who knew? And just before we say that, I am not a screenwriter. I am a novel writer. I have no interest in screenwriting. Some people have been like, why are you reading a screenwriting book? It's not the same as a novel. No, writing a movie is not the same as a novel. However, I think there are things in common throughout all stories that we can learn from and benefit from. I realized as I was editing this that I didn't do a good description of what story by Robert McKee actually is, and I kind of struggled to describe it. So I've looked online for some help, and basically I would say this book is about the principles of good screenwriting with examples. So he's basically telling you what a good story is with some insight, some techniques into how to recognize it through analysis and how to write one yourself. So um, another question that I didn't really talk about here is who is Robert McKee? As far as I can tell, he is most known for actually being a screenwriting lecturer. Apparently people have called him the Aristotle of our time. Cool. <laughs> um, he's been lauded by different people, including writers for Pixar. He has a lot of former students who've gone on to do very well. I'm just reading his IMBD page. He's quite famous for his takes on stories, and he has been a consultant for a lot of film and television productions. And basically, this book is him putting what he teaches in his screenwriting seminars, which someone says somewhere, cost $450 a session, into a book. It's not a recipe book on how to reheat Hollywood leftovers. It's not about how to write a screenplay quick. It is about the tenets of the art, um, the principles of screenwriting, and what makes story good. <laughs> the idea is to be better equipped to recognize and write a good spring screenplay, as well as to be inspired to write one. And I think he achieves his goal really well. Let us now get into the pros and cons. We're doing it in selfie mode. I'm catching a, I have to leave for a flight in 20 minutes. We got to get through this. Okay. All right. So pro number one is the tone. His tone is straightforward. It's to the point. While at times it can get into like a little bit condescending. While it can be condescending, it is not the um, nails on a chalkboard that some other craft books are. And it is not as dismissive or critical or judgmental as some other craft books. So, you know, if we, if we lie on the look on the spectrum here, we're over here, it's just like pandering and annoying. And over here, it's just kind of like mean and judgmental. He's like a little towards this side, but he's more kind of just like right of center. Con number one is price. This is one of the most expensive craft books I've ever purchased. I did, well, I didn't buy it. I got it for Christmas and my parents bought me a hardcover version. So maybe the, maybe there is a paperback and maybe the paperback is cheaper. However, this was $53.50 Canadian, which is $42.50 USD, which is very expensive. This book is also super thick, like this isn't a con, but you could definitely use it as like a doorstop. Next pro, there are some really awesome diagrams in this. Um, I know like a writing craft book, you generally don't think of it as like a diagram heavy thing, but he uses diagrams to great effect to help you understand his points and structures and things like that. I think that's incredibly, incredibly useful. As an engineer, I love di diagrams. They're simple. They complement his text. Uh, they could maybe use captions to make it easier to review, but they are really useful overall. The next 
con are the examples and this is just me look <laughs> this is nothing on him I said this book was published in 1997 I have not seen any of the films that are examples in this book the majority of the films are like classics I haven't seen any of them I suppose the idea is that most people have and quite honestly I'm going to Morocco soon and I should just fucking watch Casablanca like why haven't I watched this what made this easier for me is that I've read The Anatomy of Story a lot, Story, so I feel like I know the movies even if I haven't seen them. His main examples really are Chinatown and Casablanca. So if you were born like in like post-1996 as I was and you haven't seen these movies, I would watch Chinatown and Casablanca to get the most out of this book. He also does a big example on something called Through a Glass Darkly that just sounds Sorry, I keep switching hands. It just sounds very dark. So you could watch that if you wanted to, but like I wouldn't. And then he does a lot of things about Star Wars, which is great. The next pro is that this is the most non-generic or there's mostly non-generic advice in here. You know how sometimes you'll get a craft book, <coughs> story engineering, where they're like, write good characters. And you're like, oh, great, yeah, how? <laughs> Uh, this is not like that and it also has advice I haven't heard before I think part of that it comes from the screenwriting angle and part of it just comes from its innovative story structure or if I have heard it before it's come from story grid he does an exercise on like identifying with characters the conversation on um, subtext is really really useful his scene analysis technique really really interesting so there are certain elements like that come where he seems to draw on experience of working with actors and uh, super interesting strategies that I haven't read before. And then the final con that I have here, let me just check my notes, I think it's the final con. Okay, I have two final cons. That's not to say this book is bad, but I do have two final disadvantages. So the con is that sometimes this book is weirdly organized. Like in the chapter on, yeah, the chapter on the inciting incident, he just kind of goes off for a while in the first few pages of that chapter, not talking about inciting incidents. And it's a little confusing to me. Like scene design is another one where it gets into like desires and objectives and character goals instead of talking about scene design. In terms of going back and refinding information, especially, it's, it's kind of okay when you're reading it, but if you're like, oh, I remember he was talking about um, objects of desire, that must be in the character chapter. And then you go back and you're like, well, it's literally not. It's actually in the scene design chapter. So that's a little bit confusing. And then my qualification is, this is not really a how-to book, uh, which is fine. It does not claim to be a how-to book. This is more of an idea book. The idea being that stories are important and they must have meaning, and this is the principles and the theory, emphasis on theory, of how to make a meaningful story. So if you're looking for a step-by-step -step how to write a screenplay, how to write a novel, well, especially not how to write a novel, this book is not for you. <laughs> uh, I would start elsewhere. It is a lot more theory than practice. Like, you're analyzing scenes, you're seeing diagrams. Um, it's a little bit more cerebral, like story grid, than something as functional as like Save the Cat. So, who is Story by Robert McKee for? So if you are a beginner, you've never written a story before, like never, um, you probably want to start with something else. If you're a screenwriter, I don't know, maybe start with Save the Cat. I don't know anything about screenwriting. Like if you're a super, super beginner, either do a lot of, do some Googling, and then I would do Save the Cat and Story Genius and like just skip this all together. This book is also very long and dense and like it gets kind of boring at points. Um, I was definitely like trying to skim speed read portions of this. And you know, that's, it's, if you're like, I'm gonna read this craft book and then I'll know how to write a novel. Yeah, you, um, you wanna be able to get through it. So who would really like this book if you are into uh, theories and principles of story? This is for you. If you want to go deeper with your novels and get a different perspective, more cinematic, shall we say, perspective on how to write a meaningful story, this is for you. Actual screenwriters, this is for you. And if you want to figure out what the fuck Sean Coyne means by beats, this book is for you.
<laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time with a more in-depth review. Bye. And if you read the introduction, I'm literally fighting with the fan that this phone is sitting on right now. Why are we doing this? Oh my God. Okay. No. Stop. Please. Oh my God. Stop. Balance. Fuck. Ugh. Okay. No. no. This is not working. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>